The Internet Engineering Task Force, or IETF, is a standards body responsible for many of the technical standards that power the Internet. Blockchain Commons recently published an IETF Internet Draft that contains preliminary technical specifications for Gordian Envelope. Following is an overview of our Internet Draft. This is the link to the draft, which you can also find in the video description. The introduction covers a fair amount of what I discussed in the Introduction to Gordian Envelopes video, but also goes into more detail on the features supported by Envelope, as well as some of the real-world applications we intend Envelope to address. The terminology section is very short and mostly boilerplate, but does include a couple terms with specific meaning in the context of this specification. The actual format specification is built on CBOR, so rather than specify byte-level sequences, we use the Concise Data Definition Language, or CDDL, to describe the envelope format. We also specify that all CBOR used must conform to the deterministic encoding standard for CBOR, which ensures that there is a single, unequivocal way to encode a given set of information as an envelope. The actual implementation of Gordian Envelope is an enumerated type with seven cases, and the next section specifies how to compute the digest for each of these cases. The reference implementation uses the Blake3 hash function to produce digests, and this section also provides test vectors produced using third-party command line tools as well as our own envelope tool for manipulating envelopes from the command line. The envelope hierarchy section goes through the seven cases again, but this time from the perspective of how each case looks when formatted in envelope notation, tree notation, or the graphical mermaid format. The next section describes known values, which are an envelope-specific namespace consisting of unsigned integers often used as a compact representation for predicates. This section includes a table of all the known values currently used in the reference implementation. Since the root digest of an envelope is a cryptographic commitment to the envelope's entire contents, proofs can be produced that only reveal the minimal envelope structure necessary to show that the digest of an envelope must include specific information. This section describes how existence proofs are produced and validated using the reference implementation tools. The reference implementation section is very short and simply links to the source of the Blockchain Commons Secure Components Framework which contains the Gordian Envelope reference implementation, and the Envelope command line tool, which is built on the framework. Envelopes might be used in ephemeral contexts, like message passing, but they may also persist indefinitely as cryptographically signed documents or in a blockchain. The section on future proofing describes our strategy for ensuring that future readers of envelopes will always be compatible with existing envelopes. Our choice of CBOR simplifies this a great deal, for example, by eliminating the need for version numbers and structures that have never been revised. Obviously, any proposal for documents that are both smart and secure carries a number of considerations that impact security. From the choice of cryptographic algorithms to best practices for the design and validation of documents created using envelopes, our section on security considerations attempts to foresee many of the ways that implementers and developers should be cautious. The section on IANA considerations lists the CBOR tags that the reference implementation is currently using. As Gordian Envelope continues through the standards process, we expect to formally request that IANA reserve a small block of tags to identify Envelope's important structural components to the rest of the CBOR using world. This section also contains our application to register a unique Envelope media type. We round out our internet draft with an appendix answering one of our most frequently asked questions, why did we choose CBOR as our format for structured binary data? We actually consider this question important enough that we also devoted an entire video to the question, which goes into much more thorough detail, and you can find it on the Blockchain Commons channel. You may be interested in viewing that next, as a continuation of this overview of our IETF draft. Thank you for watching. We're looking forward to hearing your questions and ideas.